Hello everybody, this is Kirsten. I'm here with Rowan and we're going to do a little walkthrough of the One U Simple Survival that's here at the Earthship Academy campus and the Simple Survival Village at the Sustainable Development Testing Site here in Taos, New Mexico. All right, let's go. It's winter time. It was 12 degrees this morning. We're walking into the outer greenhouse of the Simple Survival. So we're gonna enter the room, the living space of the Simple Survival. And what we see all around us here at the bottom, this is a tire wall. So there's tires that are compacted with earth. And then above them, we have a ferro-cement vault which is basically holding the whole roof structure. Um, it would be hard to say on the camera, but it feels really warm outside. I think this morning it was 12 degrees Fahrenheit. And here we should have a thermometer. We can see that it's at 70 inside the living space. So right now in the winter, what we want is basically to make use of the sunlight which is coming into the house because the sun is lower and heating up all this thermal mass around us to heat up and this is uh, what allows us to have 70 degrees inside without having any heating however in the winter what's go in the summer sorry what's going to happen is that um, all the hot air is going to accumulate and it's going to go out from the highest point inside the house which is in the greenhouse at the top of the greenhouse we have a um, a skylight so opening the skylight will basically start a convection process which functions with this tube uh, which we have behind the house and which is completely buried under a berm of, of earth and basically just opening it up you can already feel that uh, fresh air is coming inside so what happens during the summer is that we'll have all the hot air going outside and then at the same time, we'll have cold air being sucked in because it's being cooled by the earth temperature. So this is the convection process we use for the cooling. So this house has got the thin um, photovoltaic panel on top, which is basically feeding, uh, which is here, a simple, very simple power module, which we have. So in ha inside we have a car battery, we have a little charge controller and as you can see here we've got the DC outputs for our grey water, uh, the lamps and different lamps. Which basically means that if we have a problem with our inverter, which thanks to which we're able to um, use all our appliances, we're always going to have at least our lights and our pumps functioning thanks to this little system. So here we're in the greenhouse, and it's just to kind of explain the water system uh, in an airship. So what's happening is the, the, when the rain goes onto the roof, instead of going away, we capture it. And uh, through gutters, we basically take it to a cistern, which is behind the house, completely buried also in, in underneath the earth, uh, so that it always, always stays at the same temperature. So even though it's freezing outside, the water is never going to be freezing inside the house. From there, it's fed through gravity into our system, and then we can either pump it up in these boxes, which are basically insulated boxes with a water tank inside, uh, which is just underneath the, the window and getting all the heat. So this is how we're heating our, our hot water here in the Simple Survival. Then you will basically either have the water going into the, the, the bathroom, which we see here, which is a shower, and then trickling down and going into these planters here, all being used in the kitchen, and then also joining these botanical cells here. So they're planters, they're completely closed with plastic, and then we have a layer of gravel, of sand and soil, and then the plant's roots go into it. So once this water is down there, these plants are at the same time feeding from this water, and at the same time they're filtering the water and there's uh, generally uh, a layer of water which stays there. So as this system is very simple, what happens is we have used, let's say, the water once in the shower, then it's gone into the planter to feed the, the plants, and now with this hand pump, we can fill our bucket 
And with this bucket, we're gonna we're gonna use it now to flush the toilet. So once again, this is really the most simple version we have built so far. So if you want to experience simple survival living and systems, come join us here at the Earthship Village Ecologies Project and be an intern or an Earthship Academy student.